Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. Today we're going to talk about how to send an LBC Balikbayan package from USA to the Philippines. Started. We're going to talk about the weight limit, the cost to send, and how long to deliver in the Philippines. So behind me is a large LBC bag, so let me get it for you. So the cost of this one, so this one costs around $75 to send to Philippines, or I think it's $70 to $75 and this actually looks larger because i had i still have to fold this part and the extra large costs 85 dollars so when you get your first box your first box like this you have to visit the lbc branch near your residence and you can get you have to buy one for five dollars but when you are ready to have your package delivered they will pick it up from your house and then you will get a free free one box at the same time so this one costs five dollars if you are buying for the first time and eventually the succeeding ones are free there is also a smaller box for electronics if you are planning to send electronic items such as a laptop or a camera or cell phones they have a smaller box like this big but I'm not sure the price but I would recommend getting a, a larger one or an extra large one so you can fit everything. So just make sure that you have to pack correctly inside the bag so it won't be broken when it arrives in the Philippines. Please note that there is no weight limit on the box as long as you pack the box correctly. Like there's no bulging or overpacking on the box. So you can put as many as you can as long as you pack everything inside like liquids must be separated and you need to put plastic on it and then box it again before putting it in a large balik bind bag so it won't spill so this time i'm going to show you how to pack the box okay so you have to tape this part this bottom part correctly so the items won't wrap in here like this. So make sure that you tape this part lengthwise and like horizontally tape it around. So make sure that you do it correctly. Okay, so let's say you'll be sending liquids. Make sure that this part here on top, the lid must be sealed. Use like a tape and wrap around it. And then I usually put it in a plastic bag. So I put this in the plastic bag and then I put it in another box like this before you put it in the package so the liquids won't be in spilled inside. Okay, so once you packed everything, make sure that there is no bulging like everything should be like this there shouldn't be bulging in here or overpacking the backs should look exactly like this and then you need to indicate the address here from and then the recipient so make sure that you indicate your full name your address and then your contact number just indicate the cell phone number and then the email address and then also for the recipient and then they will take care of the packing slip in here let's talk about the bill of lading so this is a sample copy of the bill of lading it indicates the sender the address and the phone number and then the consignee is the recipient so make sure that indicate to indicate all the information like the complete address 
phone number and if you could indicate the email address as well and then I usually here put here in the detailed packing list I don't have to enumerate all the items inside the box I just need to put like personal effects and if you put personal effects they are not considered for commercial purposes and the bill of lading will tell um, LBC that this is for personal consumption and not for business purposes so just indicate personal effects or personal stuff and then you just need to fill out this one uh, white paper and then it will duplicate everything and you retain the yellow copy and then they will indicate the bill of lading number is the tracking number it's usually a 12 digit number so the method of payment you can either use your debit card or credit card or you can also pay in cash so usually when you call lbc that your package is ready to be picked up someone will schedule an appointment that they can come to your house between a certain hour during the day and then tell them that you will pay by credit card or usually they will just uh, call back to you and they will just get your card and sometimes they have their own card reader so you know here in the US we are advanced when it comes to payment methods so you don't have to worry you can pay in cash debit or credit card and make sure that the guy who when he comes to your house to pick up the box make sure that your dog is not inside the house the reason is that they wanted to avoid any accidents or any dog bites because they are still considered working and if the dog bites them or bites uh, the delivery or the pickup guy it is considered like a workers compensation claim so they're trying to avoid that so make sure that your dog is outside or away so usually they ask me if I have a dog or if my dog is outside so I make sure that my dog is away or it's outside and then they will print a receipt for you and then staple it like this and it should be done so the delivery time usually they have like a cut off like when they will actually ship out your box to the Philippines so ask them when is the cut off period usually it's maybe it's on a Saturday so try to schedule your delivery on a Friday and also the best time to send packages to the Philippines is like in off season like February to October so when you're planning to send a Christmas package for your family in the Philippines make sure that ba that the box is out by October at least by the end of October or make it uh, like October 1st so it will arrive by December 1st because it's a busy season for them and you don't want your Christmas gifts to arrive like the next year so it's just my tip so make sure to do your shopping ahead of time and pack it before the busy season um, in the Philippines now, the question that you may ask is when is the package going to arrive to the recipient usually it is 60 days so one month after you have your package uh, picked up to follow up with an LBC uh, call the LBC office and ask them when it is going to be delivered and they will tell you exactly where the package is located or it must be in a different car country make sure that you give out your tracking number or your bill of lading number usually it always um, happens that there is an emergency in another country but my package sent in the Philippines last February arrived around May sending LBC packages for the last 10 years so I know that they are reliable you can track it and everything is complete inside the box so I hope guys that I provided you in important information on sending your balik buying box to the Philippines and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or any anything that is related to this video you can send your comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video thank you guys